Hi, welcome to the Mommy Diaries. I want to share something quick with you to encourage and uplift your heart if you're having a hard day. I was reading part of the Psalms and the Gospel today and the Catholic readings for the day. And at the end of the Gospel, Jesus mentioned how his heart had such pity on the people and the crowds that came to see him as he was preaching in the synagogues because they were like sheep that looked abandoned and um, distressed and troubled. And right before I read the gospel, the psalm of today was, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and they know me. And something about it just struck a chord within me to really meditate on the fact that God is the good shepherd. He is the good shepherd. And to really meditate on the, the goodness part, the goodness of God, because I think that's why we can feel like those people in the gospel abandoned and troubled and distressed when we don't know our shepherd and we don't know how good he is and we don't meditate on his goodness and believe in it. So if you're having a hard day and you're struggling today, I just want to encourage you that he is the good shepherd and he knows you. And what do good shepherds do? They take care of their sheep. They feed them. They make sure that they're well-groomed. They make sure they're provided for. They make sure that not one is lost. And if it is lost, they'll go leave the 99 and find the other one. That's a good shepherd. They really take care of their sheep. They have a relationship with each and every single one. That is God to you. That is that is who he is. And there's so much more to God. But, you know, we have to come to discover him, I think on our own through personal relationship with him. But I encourage you, if you're having a hard day, meditate on that like I did. It just brought joy to my heart that he is good. He's a good shepherd and he's watching after me and he's not gonna let anything bad happen to me. He's not gonna let anything bad happen to you. And if he permits anything at all to happen to you, because anything that happens to you in this life is permitted by God, number one, because he rules overall and you know if things start attacking your life it has to go through God's permission first but remember if you're going through something don't blame God and I'm talking to myself too let's not blame God but let's realize that he's permitting it because he knows that there's a greater good that will come from it so I just encourage you today to sit with that that he's a good shepherd he's taking care of you even if you're going through things right now I'm not feeling very well today I woke up feeling really, really unwell. And how good God has been to me all day long. Like, this may not mean anything to you, but I just can see how it, how God moves in my life because I know, you just know when you're dealing with certain things and you, then you notice how God shows up. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. I usually carry this little guy on my back throughout the day um, for his naps and I'm just not feeling good today. And I haven't done this in a really long time, but I just started rocking him in the rocking chair. He didn't like it the first time, cried a bit, but then he fell asleep and I was able to lay him down downstairs for a bit, praise God, spend time with my daughter, try to recuperate, get some rest. And then my daughter went down, praise God, with ease so I can sit up here and rest. He fell asleep again with such ease. And to you, that may be like, okay, whatever. But to me, it's just proof that God sees me and the state that I'm in today, that I'm not feeling great, that I'm not feeling good. And he's given me all these little blessings that are big blessings for me. So I don't have to exert my body even more because I'm tired and I'm physically drained. So if you're in a situation where you're tired today, you're feeling abandoned or troubled or you're struggling with something, I just encourage you and I'm going to keep encouraging you. If you're not, even if you're not Catholic, invite God into your experience and marry and ask them to help console your children and to help you mother your children where you need help. And I promise you, they will help you. I asked the Lord downstairs with my daughter, like, please help her to fall asleep peacefully. God, have a good rest. And just the grace that God gives me and Mary, the help that they bring me. I wouldn't tell you this if I thought it was a waste of your time. So I really encourage you, meditate on that today, that he's a good shepherd. Invite God and marry into whatever you're experiencing and watch how things will change for the better. He will not permit you to go through something without the intention of the greater good to come out of it. So God bless you. And I encourage you lastly to consecrate um, 
whatever you're going through to Mary as well. And you will see a huge difference. These are not my words. This is Father Chad Ripperger that said this, but he mentioned that consecrate what's hard for you in your life to Mary and you will see God move in miraculous ways that you're not expecting. So God bless you. Have a good day. Please share this with others if you think that it can uplift them. Like, subscribe, and please continue to encourage other people out there that are struggling also because you have a purpose in this life. If God's allowing you to go through something, you can get through it through his grace and encourage other people who are also suffering and struggling by your lived experience. Take care. Bye.